Hey guys, this is Tabby Cosplay speaking, and today is my birthday. Yay! I just turned uh, 27, and I want to make a quick video uh, with y'all guys on just some of the top three games that I'm playing right now. Uh, I don't have anything hooked up to my TV to actually show myself playing them, but I thought I would just do a quick video on a short description of what I'm enjoying. They're kind of on the old side, but I still love them. I think if you uh, have some excess time, you should definitely check some of them out. So I got them right here, and it's uh, two Xbox 360 games and one PlayStation 2. So the first one, my favorite, I think I'm going to go in favorite to favorite first on down. Actually, I think that they're all my favorites, so I'm just going to pick one randomly. Alright, so first one I'm going to talk about, and sorry I got a little bit of a cold on my birthday, but it's not really my birthday. I just pre-recorded this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but whatever day this is, uh, I have a little cold. But my first game that I will love probably forever is Fable 3. Fable 3 is so much fun. I love the entire Fable series. Fable 1 was pretty okay. Fable 2, I was like, whoa, I was blown away with Fable 2. And Fable 3 is just my ultimate. I have been... I have won Fable and played it again and won it again and played it again and played it as a man and played it as a girl and played it as a bad guy and played it as a good guy and played it as a neutral guy and played it as just everybody you can think of. It's so much fun. It's a role playing game. I am so into role playing games. I love role playing games. So this game is basically about uh, a princess, If like it depends on what, what gender you pick. It's a uh, it's hard to explain really, gosh, now I'm on the spot. But um, I always play as a girl, and the princess is from a long line of heroes, and the heroes are born with magic, and because they're born with magic, it's up to them to save Albion from the bad guys, and they're, the bad guy this time is your own brother. And your brother forces you to pick between, like it starts all this whole thing is about choices. That's why I love it so much, it's about choices. And your brother makes you pick between uh, the people versus, uh, actually like killing your love like you have a loved one that you love or you could kill you know you could kill all the people and that's such a hard choice i have made both decisions i played so many times and in both you just like the cool thing about it is if you pick the people if you kill all the people you still lose your love but you can see them again later on in the game they're married and you can bring them back and uh, take them back and, and take them from their spouse and marry them, which I have done. So that's pretty fun. And this, you get different weapons. It's a lot of fighting and it's really spooky. There's a spooky part about it because the reason why you find out your brother sucks so bad, and I'm sorry I'm gonna tell you this, it's a bit of a spoiler, but your brother sucks so bad. He's the king, by the way. When, when you take his, his crown, you can either pick between killing him or letting him live. But if you let him live, he can tell you why he's been such a jerk. Um, he's been a jerk because some evil is coming, some darkness is just coming and flowing and uh, because of this he's been like really taxing people and taxing the people and you have to either figure out a way to beat the darkness by being good which is the hardest way but I figured it out many times to get, you have to get up a million bucks in this game and you figure out how to be good and you can uh, be the darkness that way, and that's the hardest, or you can be bad, like your brother, be worse than your brother, and be the darkness by taxing the people, killing people, breaking promises, and that weighs on your soul, and your character's looking really ugly and scary, and then the darkness comes and kills like almost everybody. If you do choose to be good without getting the money, it kills everybody, it's really, it possesses people, and it's hard, and man, the exploration of this game is so much fun. You explore places, um, you collect items. This Fable 3 is my favorite game. I don't think I will ever fully explore this game, and I think I'm going to ever probably fully get tired of this game. It's so much fun. So let's move on to the next one. Alright. So, my next game that I'm going to show, then we'll save the best for last. Alright. Um, yeah, Xbox One, Xbox. This is Alice. The Madness Continues. Alice is my favorite game. I have not finished this game because I'm not a very good gamer. But, um, <laughs> I play it off and on. 
and it's the madness returns meaning if you played alice on pc it's where i started off with i played it on pc and i finished that one that was so much fun and I bought the the game version and it's so hard for me. I'm like I said, I'm not a great gamer. But when I played the I tell you this, the one on PC is scarier in my opinion, but it's a little more creepy. Like I just think it's more creepy, right? This one has more a beautiful element to it. It's creepy, but it's more beautiful to me. And they have different worlds. You change their costume often. It's basically about if you love Alice Wonderland like me, I adore Alice Wonderland. I've watched the Tim Burton ones. I've uh, ha I've read all the both the books through Looking Glass and the other one by Lewis Carroll. I've loved Oswald Land. So this is the spooky version, and you go through this land. And Alice is basically she's totally insane. She is in an asylum in this one, and um, she gets framed. It's kind of spoilers too, so sorry. She gets framed by her own psychiatrist because he just wants because he's the one who like burnt down her house and made her crazy. And she's going through her mind because her mind is being destroyed. The psychiatrist is, tr is um, tricking her into making her think that uh, Wonderland does not exist and that he didn't uh, do the evils that he did. And so it's, it's a train destroying Wonderland and destroying the Wonderland we got to know and get used to in the PC version. And um, she has to wear, she's used his knife and the, the uh, Mad Hatter is creepy. You got to bring it, put them back together again. A lot of gears and if you love Silent Hill and uh, Pinhead and um, not so much Pinhead but like mostly Silent Hill. If you love Silent Hill and maybe some other chainsaw thingies you'll love this game because it's so good and um, the gameplay is really nice. I like the smooth gameplay. Not too hard. Um, you collect teeth which is funny throughout the game. You collect teeth and hearts to like get your health together. Um, she can upgrade weapons. Her costumes are awesome. And it keeps changing throughout which world you go to. Like I love a particular one, Japanese world, where it's like fans and um, they got giant grasshoppers and there you have to fight them. And the whole sky is green. It's just like I said, it's one's really beautiful. It's less creepy, but more beautiful. The teapots throw uh, acid at you and it's just to burn you. And it's just a really a beautifully, it's like visually beautiful game. Not so much role playing, but I, I definitely recommend this game. It's so much fun. And my last but not least, I know this is old. I know you got new ones, but I still love it. It is Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. I love this one. I don't care about the other ones. This one's my favorite because it's just got so many of my favorite characters in it. I know it's like really old though, but I love it. And the reason I think the reason why I love this one is because it has some really good memories for me. I remember, oh, by the way, it's PlayStation 2, not um, Xbox. I think the reason why I love this one so much because um, it got me through some really tough times. <laughs> I was, I got my wisdom teeth removed and I was in so much pain. And I was also, because it, it went a little strange, I was bedridden for a little bit because I could I lost so much blood. And I was just in such a state, and I had just got some Ultimate Ninja 3, and I put it on, and I played every, I finished this game, <laughs> I finished it all, I finished this game, and it just, it just helped, it made the time go by so great, and so I would definitely recommend, there's not much really to say about this, it's your typical, um, fighter game not gonna lie I've not played in a while so I've kind of forgotten a lot of it but I know I love it so it's a lot of fun love to play with the characters uh walking around Konoha um like I said it's been a while though gosh but I have all personally I have all the ultimate ninjas and I would recommend them all equally so um yeah it's the one I just pulled out of my um my cabinet so <laughs> but it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun. So, um, if you love Naruto, um, you can play as different characters. You can, uh, you get it's fun, uh, going and skipping through different, uh, scenes and, and do it, let them do their jutsus and all that. And, uh, like I said, I don't have much of a good memory of it because I've been, um, I haven't played in a while. But I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's great for any fan of Naruto. So, that is my top three. 
uh, games that are um, off of PC. They're not on PC. They're on the PlayStations and Xboxes. And um, yeah, I just want to make a quick video. I tell you guys, I have been trying to make other videos for y'all. I made a video uh, uh, doing um, some browser games. I made some videos exploring different things. And each time, my my thing kept crashing. I don't know what's going on. My computer just keeps crashing. So I just did a, I said, let me do a game review. This is my gamer channel. I'll do a game review. And, um, yeah, so plus my birthday. And I just wanted to uh, go out and do different stuff. And um, I've been doing this all week, to be honest. Because I know I'm filming this on August the 1st. So tomorrow is my birthday. And I'm hoping that if you follow me on Instagram, I'm hoping to put some pictures up. And uh, follow me on Twitter and my website. I should put some pictures soon. So that should be fun. So that's basically it. I'm really sleepy. I'm going to go to bed so I can uh, get up early on my birthday. And... Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. And I made a few more books. Uh, actually, my same books, but I'm going to make some more books. I'll put those up. Check those out on my, um, back in my channel. Because I can't put the links below anymore. I have no idea why. They're just not letting me. But yes, I'll talk to y'all guys later. And um, hopefully my computer will let me make some game reviews for y'all. But um, we'll see. Okay. Bye. <laughs>